Hi guys, welcome to another video on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Skate Motion in Camtasia 2020. So this is one of my favorite features when it comes to making software tutorial using Camtasia 2020. It is very useful. You can add arrows and uh, square box and circle and, and so many things to, to explain about your idea when talking in front of the screen like this. So I'm going to show you uh, my tips and tricks on how to use it and how to use it effectively okay inside the program so let's go to the software uh, here I already have TechSmith Camtasia open and it is a, a one of my screen recording so you see here I have my webcam here but this is just an example so I, I'm not going to uh, show you anything about here uh, but to add to add a sketch motion to your video uh, or to your screen recording you need to find the annotation tab here uh, go to annotation and here you have uh, some text and arrows and uh, shape and this is a, the sketch motion okay and you select on that and you see here we have many many things one two three four five six seven eight eight ten but uh, it is customizable so for example if I want to add this uh, this box so this uh, rectangular box is the, the one that I use the most uh, on, on my software tutorial. For example, I want to highlight this part when talking about adding an effect in Filmora 10. So I'm just drag and drop it. Uh, there's two, two positions you can drag uh, and drop. Just uh, the first one, you can drag and drop it directly on the review window like this. And uh, drag and drop it and then you play the play okay uh, now the size you can reduce the size of this box okay so you can select here uh, left click here and hold your mouse and then resize resize it to the area you want to highlight on the screen right and like this uh, okay so this is a rectangular box uh, but for other parts you can also click here to rotate it rotate like the way you want okay that is obviously very very easy right uh, so that is the first the first option you can drag it and drop it drag from here and drop it on the preview window and the second option you can drag and drop it directly on the the timeline okay for example this is the the sketch motion the first one i want to add to this area right and uh, now i want to shorten the duration and uh, I, I want to add another sketch motion to this area for example i'm going to use this arrow right i, I can drag and drop it right here on the timeline so remember to put it on top of your video so on the top track so it will display in your video okay and then we can play it okay now we can adjust the position and the size of the sketch motion right and again we need to recite here and there and also uh, for example i want to point to this uh, this point uh, that is the, the first option you can uh, adjust the size and scale and anything directly on the review window okay in camtasia right yeah this is one so add added to that it is customizable so you you will find you know, find the customizable tools in the property on the right side so uh, here on the right side you can also change the color of the skate motion you don't like red but normally i just refer default one so the default is red uh, but if you want to change it to any color like this and then you just simply change it you now to green like this and you can also pick up any color on your computer screen by using the color picker here uh, for example you can see like it and then i want to uh, pick up this color or maybe this photoshop color or this color or chrome color so you can uh, pick up anything any color on your computer screen to change the color of your skate motion okay and then you can change the thickness also if it's too thin then you can increase the thickness the thickness of your, your sketch motion uh, added to that you have a draw time here it, if it is draw too slow or too fast then you can change but the default is one second but you can uh, increase this one use this slider to make it two second and now it is we, we draw very slow but normally I will not change it because I prefer default one so I don't want to waste my time but here you see that it is a default right and it's slow and remember you can flip it uh, horizon, uh, horizontally or vertically 
uh, this is the option but I, I don't think it's uh, more important but some more tips you can do with the sketch motion first thing you can add behaviors behavior to your motion like this this is a sketch motion right I want to reduce this draw time to one second as the default so I want uh, I want to have this sketch motion pop up pop up the screen so I'm going to behavior and then here we have a pop-up right and just drag and drop it directly to your sketch motion and it will not only draw on the screen also pop up on the screen like this Ooh, hoo -hoo. and disappear so that is the first tip the second tip you can add animation to this sketch motion for example i want to make it longer but at this position i want to move this arrow to the corner of the screen i can add animation for that to do that i i just select it on the on the timeline and then i press shift a to add animation for that so this is a uh, uh, camtasia 2020 we add two keyframes the first keyframe here here and the second keyframe here so the first keyframe it is, is at this position and now we are going to adjust the second keyframe i want to make it bigger like this and move to this position all right so let's see what happened pop up on the screen and then move to the uh, the corner of the screen and bigger okay there is a sketch motion appear here So that's nice, right? So that is how you can add a sketch motion to your video, to your, uh, your software tutorial using Camtasia 2020. I think it's interesting and you may love to use it. For those of you who don't, or don't have Camtasia, go ahead to the link I put in the description to download it. Uh, it will offer you 30 days free trial of the software. And for those of you who want to buy the software, I have 10% discount coupon code in the description also. Or I can put it right here. Okay, that's enough for today's tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. See you in my next video.